Welcome to Electron Line. Now the difference between this video and the previous video is that the denominator now is squared. So the question is, what technique should we use here? It turns out exactly the same, even though it's squared, we're still going to make that same substitution. We're going to let u equals a plus bx, which means that du is equal to b dx, and dx is equal to du divided by b. So we're going to substitute this and this in the integral. But now also notice we still have an x in the numerator, just, just like in the previous video, we're going to also have to replace it with some relationship to u. So we're going to take this equation and say that u minus a is equal to b times x, or x is equal to u minus a divided by b. And also substitute this into the integral. Let's see what we get now. So this becomes equal to the integral of x, which is, and let me leave a little bit more room. So we have um, u minus a, and divide by b, but instead of putting it here, we'll put it outside, one over b, and we still have a dx. Now that dx is going to be replaced by a du divided by b, but instead of putting the b here, we'll put it out here, make that b squared. And in the denominator, we'll have a u squared, because a plus bx is replaced by u, so end up with u squared du. Now, we're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're going to divide the denominator into the numerator and see what we get. So this becomes equal to 1 over b squared times the integral of u divided by u squared, which is 1 over u du. I can simply write d over u, and minus a over u squared du, and we can write it like that, so we'll write it as two separate integrals. Now, this is easy to integrate because it's simply the natural log, and here if we move this to the numerator, you can see what that looks like. So this becomes equal to 1 over b squared times the integral of du over u, minus, I'll put the a out, a times the integral of u to the minus 2 du. Sometimes when you rewrite it, and I'll put big brackets around it like that, sometimes when you rewrite it like this, it makes it a lot easier to see how to integrate what's left. This will be the natural log, and here we simply add 1 to the exponent. So this becomes equal to 1 over b squared times the natural log of u minus a times, this would be u to the minus 1 divided by the new exponent, minus 1, and then we still have a constant of integration. So let's simplify that a little bit. So coming up here, we can say that this is equal to 1 over b squared times the natural log of u. And then when we come over here, notice that this negative will cancel out that negative, that being a plus a times u to the minus 1, so that would be plus a over u, plus a constant of integration. And all we have left to do is replace what u is equal to, and this becomes 1 over b squared times the natural log of a plus bx plus a divided by a plus bx and a constant of integration. And that's how we integrate that one.